When my husband blames me for everything, what should I do? Hi, my name is Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation. I'm going to try to give you some perspective and please never feel like I'm speaking down to you at all or that I question your ability to reason things out. But remember, I have a lot more experience than you do. And sometimes what is obvious to me may not be obvious to you. Or maybe it is obvious to you, but you didn't really want to address it because you didn't think that part was important. I'm going to try and give you perspective and context. More importantly, I'm going to try to give you a pathway out of your problem, which is your husband's blaming you for everything. So what does that really mean to me? It means that your husband is angry with you. We don't blame somebody for everything when we are feeling love towards them. It's sort of a contrary feeling. Rather than him feeling love towards you, he's angry with you. It doesn't mean that he doesn't love you anymore, but he's angry. And you're not in control over his anger. Everyone has individual free will. But you're definitely, you know, the old saying, don't, don't kick the dog when it's asleep because it'll bite you when it wakes up. And a lot of times what happens, and I'm sure this is happening now in your marriage, is that we become over familiar with each other over time. And being familiar with each other is a real benefit when you use that familiarity in a positive way. But it's not human nature to do so. So you've become over familiar with your husband as he has with you. And so you think it's okay to be critical of him. You think it's okay to raise your voice towards him. You think it's okay to be argumentative, to argue with him and to point out his mistakes in thinking. And you may be saying, well, sure, why not? So I'm going to tell you why not before we get into the what you can do about him blaming you for everything. You see, you didn't get married in order to have a partner to wrestle with for the rest of your life. You didn't. You got married in order to be happier than you were. You got married so that you would feel unconditional love. Remember those two things? Happiness, unconditional love. Remember how you were floating a little bit while you were dating and really enjoying the attention and really enjoying lavishing attention on your newfound soulmate. Everyone thinks in our world that that's only normal for people who just meet. And then things are supposed to tone down. But that is not true. That's incorrect. The reason people think that way is because there is this non-receptivity to spiritual things. Nobody wants to admit that they're spiritual in general. So what they do is they put a material context around everything. And in the material context, happiness is a waning commodity. It seems to dissipate. It's like you get a new car, you get a new apartment, a new home, 
and slowly you become less happy. But that's incorrect. We're souls. We have a body, we have a mind, those are material, but we didn't get married for those. We got married for love. We got married to be happier. And so when you infuse these negative reactions towards each other, that love, it, it, we can't see it anymore. It's always there. Love never goes away. It's the constant. But we lose sight of it. And then we start thinking, well, this is what's wrong. That's what's wrong. So in your case, what's wrong is your husband is blaming you for everything. But that's just on the surface. What's really wrong is your husband isn't feeling the love. You are not feeling the love. And the love is the very foundation of your marriage. And you get used to it. And you start losing the ability to even imagine what it's like to have a real marriage where you're feeling the love. My whole thing is to bring people back to that place. What I consider to be the real place that marriage has in your lives to make it the happiest place in your life. So my suggestion is to think about this with a different approach rather than thinking about what do I do? How do I react? How do I respond? Instead of thinking like that, see his behavior only as a clear-cut indicator that he is not happy, which also means that you are not happy. And start doing those things that will bring the joy back into the relationship. You know, there's a lot of free marital advice that you can get just by subscribing to this channel. But you could also take it another step. You could take it to reading one of my books, which really lays out what marriage is. You want it all. You don't want to settle. You don't want to have a halfway marriage or a mundane marriage or a marriage that, yeah, it's okay, except for, you don't want that. You want a marriage that's literally getting better every single day. And I don't care if you've been married 35 years, you could start doing those things that will make it better every single day. Now, unless you gain control over your mind, you cannot implement anything that you learn for very long because you have free will, but you've turned over your free will to your habits. And so those habits need to be altered. In order for that to occur, you need to have real tools to realign your mind. I know it sounds a little weird, but it's true. So, if your marriage was just like shaky and yours is kind of in between shaky and heading towards divorce, I don't, I'm not saying it's speeding towards divorce, but it's definitely trending in the wrong direction. So if you really want to make changes that matter, you take the course for women and then you will have it all. And that's a guarantee. I mean, we've helped thousands of people and you could read the reviews so you could get an idea of their experiences. We hear about wonderful results, but from our point of view at the Marriage Foundation, we see those results almost as mechanics. If you turn the thermostat up, it'll become warmer. If you turn it down, it'll get colder. It's like that mechanical. That was the intention. 
Everything is based on principles. So I'm going to leave you with that. Like the video. Leave a comment, if you will. We can communicate through the comment section, or you could even write in to one of our counselors, which is a free service that we have at the foundation. Blessings to you, blessings to your husband and your family. And don't worry, if you do what's right, and I'm not talking karmic here, I'm talking mechanically, if you do what's right, things will improve. It's just the way it is. God bless and take care. Thank you for spending time with me.